so that'd be yeah, one. one, is it? What's up everyone, we're back again doing some live video game hunting. We're outside the first stop right now, so let's just get straight into it and hopefully find some good stuff. Right, no joy again in that one. They still had that Gammy Crash Bandicoot PS1 with the Spyro disc, but there was nothing else in the shelves there. A few wrestlers to fit through, nothing mad. So I think that's like our 10th stop in the wrong way without finding that. And so we'll go to the next one and hopefully we can break that bad streak and get some good stuff. Yeah, so nothing in that one either. This is definitely the driest spell I've had in a long, long time. I'm going to do a couple of quick stops today. I'm back and work again tomorrow, so we'll probably have to get inventive with the game hunting on the next day off. Try something a bit different and hopefully have a bit more joy that way. Right, it's been a few days now. We haven't gone from hoodies only to smart casual. I'm going to work of a rare late start, so we're going to pop into one of the local shops and hopefully we get a bit of luck today. This might be it! Oh my! This is all but over! Will Triple H even be able to continue? Well, we broke the streak anyway, nothing crazy, but a Wii Play and a Carnival Funfair game is both complete for Euro each, so two good traders, so we'll try and get something decent out of that in CX. Right, so we're back up and running, finally finding games again. Today was just another quick couple of local stops out of the day. But the first stop we picked up four PS1 games for 250 each. We got Tomorrow Never Dies, Ridge Racer Revolution, SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, and Rugrats Search for Reptar. So there are four cool ones to have for the collection. And then in the second stop, we picked up another six games, nothing mental, they were all two euro each. But we got Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts, they'll go straight in for trade, should get 7 or 8 back for them. 
Future Soldier, I'm pretty sure I have this already, but this disc and manual is immaculate, so we'll switch it up with mine, and I don't know, maybe we'll get a Euro back in trade. And then just Splinter Cell Conviction, Modern Warfare, which one is it? Warfighter, and Metro last night. Nothing mental, just games we don't have, so we'll pop them on the shelf. So I think we'll leave it at that for this week. We'll get back to the game room, have a look at some of the N64 games that I got in the post, and just wrap everything up then. Okay, so ignore what Adam just said. I'm after getting a bonus day off work. We're up bright and early. We're gonna go try something a bit different, hit some charity shops, give it one last push, and see what we can find. Be. One. one is it? Mm -hmm. I don't in here actually.
Alright, right, so we're back in the game room. Definitely had a lot more success this time around. I'm not going to go back over the PS1 and Xbox stuff I picked up at the start of the video. I've already shown that off in the car. I'm going to go straight into what we got in that last little game hunting trip. It was basically a last minute thing. Got an extra day off work that I wasn't expecting. So I jumped south of the city for a change. Just picked a spot where I could hit seven or eight charity shops in a row. And we ended up getting 11 games out of it. So the first one that we got was this Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS4. This was brand new, still sealed, and it was one euro. So we were off to a great start there. That's like a 15 euro game. In the next shop we picked stuff up in, we got two PS3 games. These were three euro each. The Ratchet and Clank is a 15 euro game all day long. That's a class one for the collection. It is a platinum one, which is a pity, but we'll hopefully upgrade that at some stage. And we got a copy of Army of Two. This is probably only a one euro game, but it was in immaculate condition and we were getting the Ratchet and Clank for three as well. So I just said, why not? We'll pick them both up. But then that last stop, that place was absolutely mental. I had a sign outside saying it was welcome to Aladdin's cave and it really was. There was just stuff everywhere. But they eventually stumbled upon the games. They were sort of hidden at the back of a little press that had all the DVDs, stuff like that, thrown in front of it. Rumours around for a while, there was a lot of FIFAs and stuff like that. Eventually I got a pile of about 10 games out of it. I brought them up to Lumen there, and she was looking for four euro each for them. I heard a couple of people sort of in the background doing a bit of haggling, so I kind of said to her, oh, I don't know. So she just said, look, if you're going to get the whole pile, I'll give them to you for three euro each. So I just went through it one more time. I had no service in there whatsoever. Like, I had no signal, so I couldn't look anything up. So I had to kind of go off instinct on the little bit that I know. So I ended up taking two out of the pile. There was like a rock band that in the end was worth nothing. In the end, so that was a good decision. And then there was one other game. I think it was Forza Motorsport. I think it was supposed to be a two disc. There was only one disc in it. So I come back out. I had eight in the end. Which is going to be these eight here. I'll go through them one by one now in a second. I brought them back up to where I should count them up and just so they could have to pull it for 20. So that was pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to hit that spot again because that looks like it's going to be a really good spot for getting games. But the first one that I got, actually already picked this up earlier in the video. Never done that before, but we got Splinter Cell Conviction. Don't know how I managed to pick it up twice. Probably because I hadn't made the shelf yet. I didn't even realise I had it already. So look, we'll just bundle together the best of the two copies and we'll bring the other one up for trade and get a euro back or something like that. A copy of Perfect Dark Zero. We got WWE 2K14. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep the WWE games. They do trade quite well. I don't think I'd really go back to playing all of them. So I might actually just go through the shelf and any of the ones that I have there. I might put them into the trade pile. This is a good one. Midnight Club Los Angeles. This is a 15 euro game all day long. So that's a nice one for the collection. Crackdown. Never heard of it. We'll give it a go at some stage. Far Cry 2, just a common enough title. I think we have three, so we have that one as well. So we'll get the first one and make sure we play through the whole lot. A copy of Prey. Again, nothing mad very home, but it actually looks like actually looks a bit bonkers, a bit alieny, which is my sort of thing, so we'll have a play out of that. And then this Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. When I, I had a feeling this was one of the better Guitar Hero ones to get. When I got home and had a look, I think it's gonna trade for about eight euro. So I'm not gonna keep that one because I'm not gonna play a Guitar Hero game. So we did pretty well, 20 euro for that pile, we'll probably get about 9 or 10 back in trade and we'll keep about 5 or 6 games for the collection for a tenner, so really happy with that. The only stuff I picked up in the meantime, I mentioned earlier on in the video that I was going to show some N64 games that I picked up. These weren't using trade card or anything like that, these were just on the Retro Gaming Stores website. Really good prices on them so I just picked them up but we got a copy of Lilac Wars, Rugrats Treasure Hunt, and Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. I can't remember how much I paid for them. I think it was 30 all in. I'll break them down below. But as always, if you're buying games, always check the Retro Gaming Store site first. It's a locally owned store. He's got great prices and you know exactly what you're going to get. When you're buying online from CX, you could end up paying a few quid over the top and you actually don't know what you're going to get condition wise. They list everything about it. Condition of the cart, if it's a box game, whether it comes with the manual condition of the box, all that sort of stuff. So definitely check them out before buying from anyone else. And then there's just two other things. The last video, in the thumbnail, I had a copy of Red Dead Redemption. I completely forgot about to even mention it in the video. I don't know how, but that was it there. This was one of the ones that I got from Clean and my sister-in-law. She wasn't able to trade this in because one of the discs has, I don't know if it came out, I can see it there yet. I think they call it laser burn. I don't think it's actually laser burn. I think it's more uh, scraping from the lens and stuff like that. So that's a bit of a pity. The other disc is actually pretty nice though. So we'll hold on to it. We might find a disc only copy and complete ours at some stage, or we might find somewhere to get it resurfaced. So that's a really good game to have for the collection. A good trader if we can get it complete and find it again. Yes, yeah, so I just grabbed one other game over the last couple of weeks. I was in a GameStop in Dundrum and they actually had DS, Wii and 360 games there and PlayStation 3 as well. As far as I was concerned, GameStop here only carries 
like PlayStation 4, Xbox One, the bug. So if you know of any locations that sells, you know, old Wii games and stuff like that, let me know. I'd love to go for a look. Now, the majority of the stuff that was there was sort of generic GameStop case. It was disc only, but there was a few little bits that were complete. So I just picked one out. It was this one, The Secret Saturdays, Beasts of the Fifth Sun. No, absolutely nothing about it. It was three euro. It was in really nice condition and it was complete. So we just had to pick it up and give it a play for the crack. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Another nice pile of games to add to the collection. Hopefully that's the end of the dry spell and we can keep picking up piles of stuff like this going forward. But we'll be back again in another two weeks with some more live video game hunting. Fingers crossed we get another haul like this and we'll see you all then. Cheers.